Hey, good afternoon, guys. Well, we got a bonus video here this week. We just got back on a nice long trip. We picked up this uh, P&J trailer. It's a really nice trailer. It's used, but all but new. Let you hold here a minute here. I put my coat on. It's a little cold. I have my wife out here. We're looking at it together. Got in the way. Go up here. Oh, yeah, I fancy muck boots here. Yeah, too, you know. Oh, yeah, you gotta check those out. I don't know what I'm gonna get him for Christmas. He gets everything on his own. Well, this trailer comes with a nice, I don't know what winch model it is or anything, but I never had one and he did put some lights on it. outside here for a little bit so I'm not sure how the stuff looks as far as but it's a nice it's hardly used I can tell that just by the ramps and stuff we got some mud flaps in the back I don't know what even axles are underneath it. We'll look on the stick from the side and see if we can figure that out. A big old axle underneath that thing. A little rust. Overall, I'm really happy with it. So the story on this trailer is we have a neighbor He's using my other trailer, and he thought we should have a heavier one, and and uh, he found this on Craigslist. And I think it's the same trailer I seen one time on uh, Craigslist too. This goes back a couple, maybe even a year ago, I guess. I don't know. I'm gonna take these pins off. Has a nice set of wide ramps. Yeah. I never had something so nice. I did put permanent tags on it. So, but yeah, to go up here and lift them up, that spring it takes a lot of takes a lot of uh, weight off of them to lift them. Looks like somebody drug it across something there a little bit. So we ran out the turnpike, and I thought this trailer originally sat in uh, up in New Jersey somewhere, but here we went out. We went out west on the turnpike. I really didn't know where I was going, but he found this trailer on Craigslist. Some of you guys remember the experience I had with Craigslist. Uh, weren't very good. So he said he wanted cash, so we had to go to the bank this morning, and the neighbor went with me, the neighbor farmer. And uh, I said, I have a little trip I want to go on, and I didn't know if he would want to go. And he said, yeah, and I didn't want to go by myself, just because I didn't know where we were going, and a Craigslist deal. So, and I didn't know if the trailer was a legit, or if it was stolen, or, but yeah. So we were talking all the way out there, and we were, I... I said I was up around 3.30 this morning and I was thinking about this deal and I just, just didn't care for it, but it all did turn out really nice. But at the start of the story is we had a good time. Uh, we stopped out there and one little town had lunch. Here, I don't know if you can see the front axles here on it. Yeah, they're 10,000 pound axles. Front and rear 10,000 pound axles. So. Let me see where it came from there. That's where he bought it, evidently. It has a new sticker on it here until 2021, 12, 2021, so it was inspected. But yeah. So he had it listed on Craigslist here a while, and it's, he had like 13.8 or 13.5, I forget, on it for this trailer. And uh, like I said, the neighbor found it, and uh, this is the other neighbor, his son in law. And uh, he sent me a picture of it and a phone number. And I really, 
didn't put two and two together because we were looking at other trailers out one out in Ohio and uh, and uh, I think it was in Jersey and I thought this is where this trailer was sitting in Jersey but um, so anyway he uh, let's pull our straps in here and this is where the battery box is Let's see. and then the light switch I don't know if it runs off the yeah, that runs off the battery too. There's a bunch of stuff in here. But anyway, he uh, found this trailer and I called the guy last week, I think it was Friday. I didn't get directions or anything because I didn't know if it was really a scam or what. That's what I was saying the whole time in the conversation. It was a scam. And he found tools in there. And um, so I didn't know if it was a scam or not. So we got out there, and he won eighty five hundred dollars cash from thirteen thirteen eight or thirteen uh, five. Said he'd take cash for it. So that was a red flag right there for me um, for a heavy trailer like that. The winch alone, I think those winches are on there. They're anywhere six to eight thousand dollars depends what you get stuff addition stuff and the flat mud flaps and stuff like that when you start adding stuff so yeah so now we have a heavy duty trailer and um, the guy that neighbor went out with the farmer I just wanted him to go along in case something had happened uh, you're taking cash and you're going out in the middle of nowhere I'll throw a couple pictures here in the beginning and the end uh, we went out through the tunnels and we had to sit there for uh, 10 minutes in the one way going out and then probably 20 minutes coming back in they shut the tunnels down so so that's our purchase here for the day and and uh, for $8,500 I think it's a well built trailer a little rust but uh, he put new tires on it and um, I always thought they were just kind of the original tires but and we'll get uh, Justin out here and he can shine the rims up a little bit they look pretty sharp so he's over here loading firewood up for the furnace and it's getting about 28 degrees every night yeah the lights all work it looks sharp it has side lights side marker turn signals here on the side I don't know what else I can say about it so that will carry the skid loader a lot better uh, especially on the move and stuff and um, just help uh, move things around here a little more all right well we'll go to be in eight minutes here and uh, hope everybody had a great Tuesday uh, my wife had off today and and uh, she could stay home here and watch the kids and Justin had uh, no school today at school he had to stay home here and so that's uh, getting a little better here as time goes on but yeah i'm very very happy with it now it's time to get a load on it and grease it here a little bit and check the wheel bearings and stuff like that but it's i like how the how it's a big heavy gooseneck on it and uh you can see my other one that comes out to the edge here you can't see nothing so We'll take the other trailer down to an auction here and uh, say I don't want that trailer no more. Um, I used to have four trailers at a time and that's why I got permanent uh, plates and stuff on so you don't mix and match everything. And but Yeah, it's very, very low usage on this one. So, all right guys, have a great day and uh, there's a lot more to this story. I should have made a video on the way out. We were laughing the whole time because we didn't know what's going to happen and I did not want to go by myself it's just because a uh, guy wants cash and I could have ended up under in a ditch or something <laughs> we were we had all the scenarios worked out what we were going to do and I said to, to the guy that went with me I said well whoever can run the fastest is going to survive because I'm going to the truck and taking off so <laughs> he he didn't find it too funny maybe but it's just one of those deals you on Craigslist you really really want to make sure you know where you're buying and and make sure you have your meet times all planned out and uh, when you have to do a cash deal I told my bank this morning I said well 
it was. I really enjoyed doing business with you. I told him this morning, when the, and I said, if you don't get to see me here in the next couple of days, uh, I said, uh, have a good life. <laughs> he laughed, but all right, guys, we'll see what we put on this trailer and uh, get some new straps in it and stuff, and uh, probably get four inch straps for this trailer. I'm not sure. A couple four inch ones. So. Have a great uh, day, and uh, we will have a video for tomorrow, an update on the farm and where we're at. So, life's been pretty good. So, now you've got mom working over there. He knows how to recruit help sometimes. Uh, we do have our new coats on. Uh, uh, C Consultant gave us some bunch of coats and uh, sweaters and stuff like that, and hats. And so, yeah. All right, guys, uh, thanks for coming along, and keep up for the eight updates here for tomorrow's video. I, hopefully, I'll have it out early tomorrow. I just want to make sure all my ducks are in a row, and the information I give you is up to date. So that's why it's taking a little longer. All right, talk to you later.